everybody. So it is late morning. I am up here in Pisgah Forest and we are going to do the Pilot Cove Slate Rock Trail this morning. So stay with me and we'll bring it to you. Everybody, it is a beautiful day. Can't really see the skies, but they are blue. Calling for 85 with a chance of thunderstorms. I think it was a 50 or 60 percent chance. Uh, I don't remember, but the trail's great. A little bit of vegetation growing into the trail, but that is not real bad. Because you can still distinguish everything real good. So let's get on up the trail and see what else we can see. Now you want a nice campsite. Here's one right here. Now, this place is nice. Grass, real gra good grass area. The water is right down there. It's probably 25, 30 yards. But now this is a beautiful campsite here. You could get all kind of tents in here. Uh, you might be stretched for getting a hammock. But I'm sure if you look around, you could get a hammock or two in here. Okay, back on trail. So we're still going we're not there yet so trail it's not been bad I mean you do have some incline it's not real bad but most of it gets to me anyway <laughs> but that's okay it's a good workout so as you're following this trail in you're following the Slate Rock Creek Pretty much all the way, which that's a good thing. If you need water or you want to stop and soak your feet or get wet or whatever, hey, there it is. There's the creek right down there. Beautiful little creek. Has a lot of water features to offer you. I'm telling you, they're beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to keep on going. Hopefully we'll be there shortly. All right, guys, it's hard to really tell, but this is straight up. Huh. Let's get it done. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, there's been a change of plans. So I had to turn around. I was almost there. And even after I would have got to the rock, I still had more climbing to do to get the loop done. But I started feeling real bad. I mean, I couldn't hardly stand on my legs. And 
just man it's so hot so I've been drinking I make sure I drink but I guess even if you drink the way you're supposed to you can get heat exhaustion and I'm thinking that's what it is because man it really get to me my stomach everything so being on the air of caution and at my age <clears throat> I decided to pull the plug and just head on back out <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to just take my time and get me a stick. I didn't bring my hiking pole, so that was a mistake. And so I'll have something that I can support myself. And I get to some water. I'm probably going to sit in that water and get my body temperature cooled down. So let me get off here. And I'll talk to you later. <coughs> so I'm making it, guys. I've seen one person. So I know if it just gets to where I can't make it, I know he'll be coming back out this way. So at least I can get somebody to help me. But I'm going to... I'm gonna keep on. We're not pushing it. And I'll be okay. Let's get on down the trail. <laughs>